and welcome to What's in the Unboxing. We established this last time. Yes, What's in the Unboxing. Now I need to put that on the YouTube part and not forget about it Dee -dee. again. <laughs> I invented a title. You did. So, we are here with the last pair of Tokyo Treat versus Japan Crate candy unboxings. If you out there in comment land can find another candy box for us to subscribe to and check out versus I will continue with Tokyo Treat, leave a comment in, in the down there in the hangar below because then we will check it out and compare boxes. But this time, Japan Crate was here like three weeks before Tokyo Treat. So I'm gonna blame holiday shipping and then the typhoon for the first time that got me all grumpy, like, where's my box that I paid for? Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember which one we did first last time, do you? No. Hmm. I think we did Tokyo Treat the first time because I was mad, so we did that one, so... This one? We'll do this one first. We will do the Tokyo Treat. Okay. Not Tokyo Pop. Let's see if I can not mangle things this time. We're going to shuffle you off screen for the sake of tape. I'll pop that up so before we we'll slide the inserts out. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over yonder. And what do we have here? Oh, this is so cute. The art is adorable. Yeah, that's I wish it had the artist's see. name like on the cover because mm. this art is super cute. The theme is Cozy Winter's Night. Though we live in Texas and it's been really warm lately, like I'm wearing a sundress right now. And this um, is just an extra advertisement saying, hey, scan this QR code and perhaps... I'm fucked at QR code. Perhaps. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> on your next order, when you actually order something else, they'll add an extra bag of Kit Kats, but that means you have to place another order. Right. But I don't think it will apply to consecutive purchases. Cool. So. so. Flavor of the month is milk. Oh boy. This month we are, we are inspired by snowy sights during the winter, which is why so many of our items are milk flavored. These deliciously creamy flavors are especially comforting on cozy winter nights. Cozy winter nights. Just imagine curling up in a snug blanket with a cup of warm milk and a pack of animal biscuits to snack on. The crunchy treats are a perfect accompaniment. <laughs> accompaniment, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> to the other milky flavors in our box this month. Plus you can learn some more Japanese while you snack. Indeed. What a nice Sorry, book I need to uh, stop that. I don't that. know how much Minion counts as an animal though. Yeah, that's true. But there's all kinds of fun stuff going on in here. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh yay, I'm okay. Challenge and all that jazz. All right, so okay. let's start with Young Minion since it's right here and up top. Big yeah. old Minion box. Those are character cookies. Okay. And some of the other ones you could have got were Toy Story themed, Winnie the Pooh, or Pokemon. This time of year is always made better with friends and family. So we invited our familiar faces to join us in this box. You'll have a chance to find, oh, I just told you. Right. <laughs> Ooh, or One Piece is an option too. Ah, but we have One Piece already. Yeah. With flavors ranging from double chocolate to banana. So these are probably banana, since there are bananas all over them. I'm not a fan of Minions, so it might be really fun to just like, Destroy them with my teeth. <laughs> Take that, all you horrible memes! <laughs> Destroy those memes. <laughs> but, but banana flavor looks great. That sounds really good with tea. I swear to God, it's gotta be a soda flavored green pop. Sorry, you gotta give me a second. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm showing you. Oh, here we go. Diamond ring candy. All the thoughts of snow and winter made us think of these sparkling, of all things sparkling and sweet. The diamond ring candy definitely fits both of these descriptions. Of course you can wear it as a ring, but we know it won't last long because you can't resist the yummy cola flavored candy. So you are correct, sir. It is a cola flavored ring pop. What do I win? A uh, cola flavored ring pop. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I did just, it, it, you look at the packages, sometimes what it is is obvious. Like, oh, I've seen this soda icon before. Mm -hmm. it's very familiar. Mm -hmm. We have chaps. Mmm, chaps. Cowby chaps. Cowby winter potato chips. This month we found the perfect winter chips. These Cowby chips are made from Hokkaido potatoes and feature a powder snow salting. Just eating them will make you think of snow mountain tops. I really want to like eat those in my Elsa dress. <laughs> 
So they're just just salt, salted chips. Yep. Not, nothing fancy, nothing well, chocolate covered. They're Hokkaido potatoes, but yeah, right. I'm looking forward to the not chocolate covered because I was not into those. Right, but I mean, they were still good. I tried to share them at work, but people at work are not adventurous like me. I just don't like chocolate, so to be fair, I'm, yeah, I, that, I was biased. That's fine. Uh, let's grab this one. Oh, that's for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a milk giant uh, cap I can never Ooh, pronounce Calpico. Thank you. I can never pronounce that word correctly. It's the best kind of winter ice cream, one that isn't too cold to eat. These airy marshmallows are delicious, creamy milk flavor, and even contain calcium and magnesium to give you an extra vitamin boost. Cow plus mmm. It was like, that can't be periodic yep. table stuff. That's gotta be being short over here. Yep, calcium and magnesium to give it's you a little, little pick you up. It's like a it's like a marshmallow -y, chocolate marshmallow -y thing. That looks like an ice cream. What are they? Yeah, the drumsticks. Yeah. I, I was trying to think of the name there for a second. All right, let's see. Top, we have what looks like winter. Turbots. Oh, here. You guys ready for my bad Japanese pronunciation oh, of the day? Kaki, <laughs> kakigori. Yeah, winter kakigori gummies. We're continuing our love of milky snacks with these super tasty milky kakigori gummies. Featuring both a mango and a strawberry flavor, the creaminess of the milk fits perfectly with the fruit flavors to make this an absolutely irresistible gummy. That sounds That's really some, good. Yeah, it sounds like some, some smoothie flavor yeah. stuff going on there. I love gummies. It's like my favorite. Bruh. Is that some tea? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Okay, oh, okay, that's why. So it's the Liptic, Lipton Tropical Charge Tea, or you might have gotten, which we did not, which is unfortunate, because, oh my god, I would have taken it, uh, Sakura Tea. Ooh. And it's like the pyramid loose leaf ones, mm -hmm. with the premium bags that are really nice from Lipton's. So, if you got the Sakura tea out there, we're jealous. Um, we know, tropical and spring tea in a winter themed box? Crazy, right? But who doesn't want to have warm memories of summer and spring just past and the warm weather to come in the coming new year? This peach and mango and pineapple or Sakura tea will make you feel relief that your best summer and spring is just moments away. You know what I realized? There's not a soda in here. Ooh. They gave us, it's the tea yeah, this the time. the tea is the drink. I was thinking about that, it's like, man, where's the, oh, they gave us the tea. I'm, I'm down for that. You have the Sakura tea and you want to trade. Hit us up. <laughs> uh, what is this key? Oh, key this is a thing. key ring chocolates. The holiday season and coming New Year is a time to start thinking about all the possibilities of what can come in your future. Well, we're giving you the key to these possibilities. Well, a key made of delicious chocolate, at least. So you use it to open the future. Yes, so it looks like, they just look like little M&Ms. It's like those little, like we got the gums before, it's like those really small, inexpensive Japanese candies mm -hmm. from the, the corner filler. stores. Speaking of fillers, let's go to the next filler, which clear, look, looks like rock candy. This is the Night Sky Star Candy. Yeah, there are the little star candies that you see in a lot of anime, like Paradise Kiss. These are um, Miwako's Medicine. That reminds me, I need to talk to you about the, uh, this coming anime season. Ooh! There's another fashion anime coming through. Ooh! Anyway, <laughs> one of the most relaxing things to do on a cold winter's night can be to just wrap up in a warm blanket and watch the stars twinkling in the sky. Well, now you can do that while snacking on these tasty star snacks. Maybe you can even make a wish with each bite. Actually, they're really hard. They're basically just like sugar. Yeah. Um, so you have to like suck on them. That, that's all I do. If I you've just never them eaten them before. roll around in my mouth and suck on them. I actually not too much of a fan. They're super cute, but I don't like eating them. Marshmallow. I like marshmallows though. Right? Colorful baby. Colorful baby. <laughs> Colorful baby. <laughs> marshmallow. <laughs> Take it, Japan. <laughs> you can never have enough light snacks at this time of the year. Especially when all the other big meals that you, oh, especially with all the other big meals that you might have planned. These super cute and colorful mar marshmallows are just the thing for a quick pick-me-up in between courses. They can even be used as a topping in your favorite hot drink. So drop those babies in some cocoa. That's correct. That's pretty cool. I just drank my last cocoa packet last night. Oh, well, let's keep Ooh, on the marshmallow. marshmallow. Mm, I used to eat ones like this when I was in Malaysia. They're so good. We searched for a snack that would, ca that would capture the feeling of freshly laid fluffy snow, and we found this amazing colorful snack. This marshmallow will not only brighten the darkest winter night, but it's melt in your mouth tasty. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're super good. Um, when I was in Asia, there's like a lot of marshmallow snacks. Um, I think they're delicious. I eat them all the time. <laughs> 
Oh, look at that guy. That's a little Mikan's mint. One of the number one traditions in winter in Japan is to sit under a kotatsu and eat mikans. While you can't send your real ones in our box, we found these cute mikan flavored mints that come in a bottle styled like a pack of the real thing. So the little orange is the New Year's oranges. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. Uh, that's... Ooh, that should be interesting. But let's move forward to probably... Gotta find it. Oh, here we go. Got it. Yeah. This is just it. It just says choco cake. This double pack of choco cakes have an amazing light and fluffy texture, meaning they're not a heavy snack. Chances are you'll chomp on both of these yummy cakes in one go. Like, kind of like marshmallows. They, they've got a little squish to them. Sorry. Like, kind of like a moon pie? Yeah, yeah, except without the, the filling. It's without the too, cake. too cakey. Too cakey, this guy. My favorite. Oh, some more of these. These are the maple hot cakes. We got these last month and the month before. Uh, I, I think one month both boxes had them. They had two different flavors. There's a red bean and then this is the maple. Have you ate the red bean without me? I'm so offended. I think I might have. <sighs> One of the best winter breakfasts we can imagine is a pile of steaming hot hot cakes with, la <laughs> with lashings, it says. Ooh. Lash. <laughs> lashings of maple syrup on top. <laughs> Slang that Just all day. Swim it on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever writes these, whoever's job this is. <laughs> they were just like, I'm so bored with writing food descriptions. I have an English degree. I'm really good at this. They're just like, I'm gonna get into it. It's time to get in there. I can't even. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> uh, something that I've seen in a Japan crate before. It looks scary. Dengenki Hunter DIY Kit. What is a Japanese snack box without something weird and wonderful? And we decided to kick off a new year with something really out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. A cola flavored electric eel. Mm -hmm. Slice and dice this tasty treat and squeeze the cola sauce all over to fully <laughs> experience its slimy <laughs> snack. I think though I got this in a Japan crate a while back, like before we did videos. And I think this one, or the other one rather, might have been a different flavor than cola. Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing. It's, it's like a long like rope. And then you, you smear the sauce on there, and it comes with a little knife in there to chop it up, and you're not. It's <laughs> that tasty. That sounds fun. Though. Yeah, always with it. Oops. Goodbye. I think that was the marshmallow. It's okay. Uh, we have. Oh no, another one of those weird sticks. All right, well, okay, this one is a cheese flavored one, so it's not right. so bad. Mm -hmm. Any cheese fans out there? We couldn't help but choose this uh, cheese. Oh, I always have a problem with this word. Umaibo. There we go. <laughs> for this month because it's just so tasty. The flavor is the perfect level of cheesy to keep any palate happy. So it's because they're like giant Cheetos anyway. So this yeah. might be a more familiar flavor for right. us. So what's still on the offer, like in most of them, they always had like some like character or something going on that represented the flavor. I don't know how sunflowers represent cheese. I mean, he kind of got his face painted like Doraemon. Right, but I think he like, always had it. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's, that's the mascot there. Okay. He's, he's been to eat that microphone. No. Um, yep. That microphone is sentient too? It's got a face? The <laughs> microphone needs a microphone to scream in agony. Oh, it yeah. has a mouth that it must scream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what are we I think it's the bottom corner. Okay, this is a bubbly rainbow taiyaki. I was literally just looking at these on the internet the other day. With the new year's coming, it's time to think about your future hopes and dreams. This taiyaki might be just the thing to get your creative juices flowing and your taste buds salivating. This dreamy double berry taiyaki is such a unique color too. Taiyaki. So they're normally like those um, waffles with the red bean inside and they're sort okay, of like hot and crispy. Mm -hmm. So I imagine it's probably got like a wafer type cookie on the outside that's crispy and it looks like there's a spongy cake layer on the inside. Okay. And it's supposed to be double berry flavored. Right. And it's but like what meat. berries? It just says double berry. But what berries? Yeah, corn berries. Like, it's like this unicorn this, berries. berries. So it's new day flavored. Like this, like there's like a picture of a taiyaki riding a unicorn. <laughs> like. Turquoise like, come with me, I'm going to kill you! And by kill you, I mean eat you and digest you. Come to Candy Mountain, Charlie! <laughs> and those are animal cookies. Oh, okay. You know what? There's the animal part that we Yeah, have. just animal biscuits. With all the free time you might have this season, we thought we'd like to give you an activity to do and a tasty one at that. Not only are these milk biscuits super cute, but on the back of the box you can learn more than 20 Japanese names for animals. Time to snack and study. 
Now it doesn't tell you how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's but all it has in, it written. It's all in hiragana, so you'd have to know hiragana. And, uh, I took Japanese in high school, but as you can see, I'm not very good at it. Nobody tell my old teacher. I watch anime. That's how I'm any good at it. <laughs> but if it's not an attack call, I'm probably saying it wrong. Right, so let's. Uh, that's that's a that's a nice field trip. That's nice and warm and squishy. Not a whole lot of hard stuff except for the like the. I know Kit Kats. No Kit Kats. No Kit Kats. This this box didn't have because they're they're trying to get you to buy an, an extra product to get those Kit Kats. Ah, but this is the first one we've got through this whole thing that didn't have Kit Kats. Yeah, in at it. least Tokyo Treat didn't give us Kit Kats. Yeah. I think because of the, 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 the high dollar Supreme box from mm -hmm. Japan Crate, that's where we're going to get Kit Kats from. So, we're going to this over here. Shuffle that to that aside. And get in there with the last Japan Boy. Only because I've already paid for these mm -hmm. three boxes of uh, Tokyo Treat. And they have like, a subscription bonus. They have a little point system going on. And the longer you buy more boxes, like I think after six months, when you activate your sixth box in their website, it comes down to like a 10% forever discount. And then I think the next one after that is like after a year, it's like a 20% forever discount. So instead of paying $100 every three months, it'll come down to $80, which every three months ain't so bad. But now we have to find another product to compete, to fight it out. What do we have? So this is January 2020. It's got like this Toku guy party in. Yeah, that's, I think that's a little mascot, dude. It's and happening it, in Japan. Yeah. Fire Festival. Learn Japanese. The New Year's contest. contest. And of course, Kit Kats. Cool. So. Let's what flavor cook do we have? Oh. Oh? Coca-Cola Zero Caffeine Ribbon Bottle. Stay oh. in the festive spirit for a little longer this January with a bottle of Zero Caffeine Coca-Cola with a limited edition bottle with an ornate ribbon. So I got super mad because a few years ago they had these and I could never find them in a store anywhere. Because if I can remember how to do this right, you peel this part. Struggling. Peel this and you unravel it, and then over here is another tab that you pull. Oh, hey! And then, and then you probably wrap that around. Yeah. yeah. And I guess enough friction or just, you know, dumb luck, <clears throat> tuck it in. That's so cute! And I could never find one of those, like, I saw it, no, you know, on someone else's video. It's like, hey, sponsor me, Diet Coke. I drink it all the time. Look at this bottle that I adore. And <laughs> finally, I get one now. Of course, it's going to go get recycled after I drink its content. Zero calorie Coke, though. No, oh, zero, zero caffeine. caffeine. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing caffeine doesn't work for me anyway. <laughs> all right, so you're going to be a, 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 a wait. Uh, let's talk about little coin cat. Fuku Fuku Candy. Start 2020 lucky with this heart candy inspired by the Maneki Neko, a common Japanese figure often believed to bring good luck to its owner. Ah, okay, and I think there's been something like this before because on the back it's you've got a generic flavor of it's got like little purple dots and then as you consume and suck on them it will change and reveal its actual flavor. Which is red, green, and blue. Like a kind of like a gob stopper. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a, it's a little softer on the outside, but I still would chomp into it. Not with my teeth. We have a small cake. Almond mochi choco. Delight your taste buds with chocolate and mochi goodness with this treat. So yeah, we've had one like this before. Yeah, a couple of them. Um, I think we got like a pack of them one time. But then this is just, you know, one. Just one. One larger one. Yeah, that's pretty decent size. Stand right here. And then, now let's say that last. We've got these boys. I know these, these boys. boys. This is a double nut cake. In celebration of 40 years, Meiji released the limited edition version of their also popular Take Noko no Sato chocolate covered Japanese biscuit shaped like bamboo shoots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This version features the taste of double nut, hazelnuts, and pistachio chocolate cake with dark. <laughs> dark chocolate Woo. with dark chocolate and chocolate whipped cream toppings with biscuit caps. Okay. 
Oof, that's a lot of chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it says chocolate like four times in a row, and I'm just like, really? Yeah, yeah like I've always been con pistachios are the green ones, right? Yes. I don't think I've ever eaten them because the concept of the green nut, like, like they're so good though. I know, but that the, the vision, like when you Do see something, just put it in your mouth. Well, then maybe you just need to like, okay, I'm like put this nut in my mouth. Oh. Like, oh, that's a pistachio. Okay, I'm that's good. I'm sorry, it's not a cashew. It's not just ready to go. But. I know. <laughs> Cashews are delicious. All right, what do we got? I think we got our DIY boys over here. But funny soft candy. I'm not making this up. Nice. Whip up some delicious grape goodness by making this sugary DIY treat. Experience the individual flavors of Romane soda, lemon, and strawberry from Japan individually, and then mix it all up at once for an astonishing grape flavor explosion. But we'll see. They're they're grapes from different from our grapes, so perhaps right, we'll see. That must be that's gotta be the DIY thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we've got in the small boy category. This is the cider ball punch. Oh, yeah. Pen, <laughs> pack a punch of cider flavor to your taste buds with this jelly. It's just a little tiny cider flavored jelly. All right, you know, to, to make the net weight. And then on the other side, which is what I was looking at. This is the fortune telling Mont Blanc. Inspired by the Italian dessert Mont Blanc, pureed sweetened chestnuts topped with a dab of whipped cream. This sweet is a miniature version of the real thing with a chocolatey taste. P.S. There's a love fortune on the back of the lid. Oh, because even there. Oh, so it's it so like cute. cute. Now, it's going to be a dang shame when uh, I can't read the love fortune. <laughs> unless it's like a numerical value. We can use the Google Translator. Ah, yes. <laughs> We got another tiny small candy. This is the grape danguri gum, but uh, get the best of both worlds of hard candy and gum with this grape confection. The gum portion protrudes from the inside when bitten or after you get to the center. Yep, sounds like a blow pop that stick. Basically, uh, we have bleh. It's gonna bleh. <laughs> a kabe gum. Watch this gum magically transform your tongue to a bright red color in minutes. That's why it's got a tongue. That's disgusting. Stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, we got crispy boy. Crispy chocolate. Indulge in the flavors of malt and rice cereal with this crispy chocolate rice cereal bar. A quick confection to munch down on. This bar features a lovable dinosaur mascot and will surely bring you happiness with love at first bite. It says love on first bite on there. Crispy crisp chocolate. So yeah, that's probably uh, their answer to uh, Nestle Crunch. And then another small boy. Ooh. One, two, chocolate. Enjoy crisp crunch and chocolate all at once with this chocolate wafer bar. So it's essentially a Kit Kat. It's just a plain old, like it's, it's a Kit Kat. Didn't mean to drop that. That's okay. Sorry, you're gonna have to stay down there now. We got over here. It was a knockoff uh, Kit Kat, so you knocked it off. That's all. <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> okay. Cardaminia Honey Lemon Soda. Enjoy these honey lemon soda flavored cardaminia gummies this January. It has a firm, chewy texture and comes in fun shapes. I always like little bears. <laughs> Jump on the bears. Squish the bears. I want to say you can squish it. I want to try it out. And they're lemon flavored, so you know, that's, that's, that's my jam. And just below that, this is, oh god, why do they gotta have these crazy names? I don't know, this could be fettuccine. Fettuccine? Fettuccine. Yeah, no, it's got the two in there, it's really weird. Fettuccine. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy Cassis orange flavored. Ooh, made by Bourbon, a top confectionery gummy, oh, a top confectionery maker in Japan. These gummies are shaped like fet fettuccine pasta and have a perfect texture. <laughs> This is not the deck. Oh no! SK. Oh! Got you messed up. My laughter knocked it down. I'm sorry. This is an episode where I laugh a lot. Yeah, it could be fettuccine. This is the way it's spelled. This is right? so when You hear the word, but then when you finally see it spelled out, it's like, what? What? Oh, there's more stuff. Right there's more stuff. This yeah, is the right. chocolate soft ice cream, marshmallow, and chocolate. Enjoy all three at once with this fluffy ice cream cone sweet. Lots of marshmallows. So it's uh, a lot like this one. Right, but small. And not, not you know, Calpico branded. Mm -hmm. And what do we got? Doremon this Doremon candy. Man. There we go, Doremon gum. Chum blue bubbles with the taste of Romane soda. Romane seems to be like the default flavor 
for children's candy yeah. in Japan. It comes up a whole lot. And it's fine, it's good. I, I like it a lot, but it's just, it's like considering it's a flavor that you don't really see outside of at least Asia too much. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, it's yeah. the default flavor in America. Like, like fruit flavored candy, it's like cherry or watermelon or chocolate. Right. Like, those are your default flavors for kids, typically. So we got popcorn. Mm. Joop, joop. Yeah, Mike popcorn. Oh, here we go again. Gyokuren. Gyo, Gyokuroen. <laughs> Kanbu tea flavor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Flavor this popcorn. popcorn is a collaboration between, um, yeah. Gyokuroe. Which is the tea brand. It's a com it's, it's, it's a collaboration between them and the popcorn guys. Right. To make some really good tea. On, on the, the, the picture of this tea can on here, it even says kombucha. Kombucha. So yeah, that's gonna be an adventure. Uh, that that that's the one thing that's gonna be like. Hmm. Oh, it's kelp, so it's kombu, which is kelp, and ocha, which is tea. So ah. not kombucha, like, but yeah. what the Pope drinks, but right. like kelp tea. Yeah, but still in a popcorn. That's that, that's the field trip. All right, Calbi garlic beer chips. There was, there's a picture of the sour on here. Garlic katage potato chips. Recently released in Japan, Kalbi, the same brand that makes the other chips we got here. Uh huh. Uh, released these with in collaboration with Sapporo Beer. Oh, okay. so it was a collaboration for these hard fried potato chips. The garlic flavor is savory, while the added hot taste of chili pepper is used to enhance the umami flavor. For those of age, this chip pairs well with a glass of Sapporo Beer. Well, the spicy part's going to be a big turn off there. So that's I will eat them because I love Sapporo Beer. Well, <laughs> well, we don't have any Sapporo beer. Oh, I will get some. All right. <laughs> I'll have a glass with you. And then lastly, final of all, Kit Kat mini party ice cream. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's an ice cream party with Nestle Japan this January for this new and limited edition release. It tastes like vanilla ice cream with a slight hint of cinnamon and mint for a refreshing seasonal treat to start the new year. Let me see, we've got little speckles going Those on. are like my favorite flavors. That's gonna be a field trip. That might finally take down the, the roasted chestnut Kit Kats as my favorite. Those were surprisingly Those were so good. good last month. Like everyone was like, give, give me the, the sweet potato and the chestnut were like a big hit at work when I share with my coworkers. They're like, give me another one. I was like, I have to share with other people. People yeah. have, need to have opinions about this. Well, literally the best Kit Kat I ever ate. But to go with, I guess, who wins? I'm gonna have to go with Tokyo Treat only because like everything over there, like, yeah, I'm hyped for this, I'm gonna try this. And then these two bags of chips and popcorn are like. But see, I wanna eat those. Right. So like to me, I want this box. Everything that's in this box from my flavor palette is what I want. Most yeah, yeah, of the yeah. stuff in here, I am actually wouldn't eat. So it really, I think, depends on your taste. Exactly. I feel like there were more items in this box this time. I see. There were, but it came down to like a well, because there, there's also a lot of small things in there, yeah, as, as the norm. They got a lot of small things as well, but this one's just the flavors in this one appeal to me more this month. I think as far as like the density of what you get, it's pretty pretty even this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just kind of a flavor preference, but I mean, you run that gambit anytime you get a subscription box, right? Um, of that you may not like these some of these things, and even when I've had makeup subscription boxes, I just like. Give the ones I don't like to other people. I'm like, hey, who wants to try this? Right. I take a door because like, hey, try this thing with me. So if you've got friends, it's always a good deal. Um, we are considering trying out other subscription boxes in the future, not just snacks. If there's right. anything you'd like to see us try or review, drop it in the comments below um, because this is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's because it, it's just I've, just, I've watched a couple of them boxes. It's one person sitting there at the table talking about it, and they they try it on camera too, which. I, I think that might be a little fattening for first thing in the morning. I don't really want to eat on camera. Or sweets that early in the morning. I know how you don't do sweets like early yeah. on. Yeah, because it's right now it's about 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. But, but just having differing opinions is always good. It's like, no, I like this thing or that thing's cute. Like, no, it's not. That thing's not cute at all. Yeah. Which may come down to me sitting in here when you're talking about another a makeup box. <laughs> I have an opinion too on makeup. Like I have to look at someone wearing makeup. I gotta make sure like, hey, does your makeup go with your outfit today? Yeah, because you guys, for living in a house full of men, I'm always like, 
Do you think my dress looks cute today? Do these shoes match? <laughs> I can actually answer the question, so I was like, hmm. I but, forced y'all to have opinions for so long. But now we actually have opinions. They know the difference between a cardigan and a bolero, and that's all I have to like <laughs> say about that. But, <laughs> next month, may only be Tokyo Treat while I search around for another snack box. I'm sure they exist out there, and I just have to Google it, because that's how we got to here. Googling sent me to the wrong place, so perhaps we'll roll the dice with Google and get to the wrong place again. Maybe the right place, who knows. But that is what's in the unboxing. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, sing Z on.